So, GG Big Tuna. I forgot to say GG in the chat, but <laughs> GG. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good game. Well, good since, game. yeah, that was like very even. I'm really interested to see what happens next. <laughs> yeah. We I shall guess see. We'll, uh, I guess we'll get on with it here. Since Tom Bombadil won that game, you uh, you get to ban two maps from the pool. And let me see. So currently not available in the pool because they were banned or picked previously. Mega Random and Four Lakes and Arabia. So the rest of that is in AOE2 pregame info channel. Uh, I'll ban... Um... <clears throat> Yucatan, um, and mm, hide out. Fair, two or fair three. enough. Two, two. That's good. You're good. Okay. And then Big Tuna, you get to pick your home map this time. Oh boy, that's yeah, the first time. Uh, how about Amazon Tunnel? Okay, mm. a little spicy. Okay. Yeah, why not? I don't think I've ever played that map before. <laughs> Good. <laughs> it, 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 it sounds pretty self-explanatory. Yeah? Yeah, it, it is. <laughs> it's like Black Forest, only simpler. <laughs> <laughs> Just get a little tunnel vision down the middle. Yeah. Um, all right, so now uh, let's see... Tom Bombadil, you can ban three sieves that were not banned in the last game. Okay. Or you're free to pass if you'd rather. Um, I'll pass. All well, right. No humans. Humans. That's not allowed. Never mind. Oh I'll yeah. Pass. Okay. Um, Mamado passes. Yeah, Big Tuna, you're up next. Uh, second ban uh, three. Let yeah. Let's see here. Look at this look. Uh, how about uh, the Spanish, uh, Portuguese, and I don't know the Aztecs. Okay, yep, that all looks good. Mm. As long as you guys find your lobby again. Yeah, I gotta get in here. Yeah, I'll I'll set it up. I have it. It's not open right now. Oh, okay. But yeah, I'll, I'll, it'll be Winter Bash again. Same password. All right. All right. Good luck. Yeah. Good luck. Have a good time. We'll be watching. We'll be cheering you on. Both of you. Tom Bombadil, with one win under his belt, has picked the Britons on the bottom left in yellow, and Nut, top right in blue, as the Huns. The Huns famously don't need to build houses. They're starting at 200 pop cap, similar to the Mongols in H4. For the uh, for the H4 enjoyers in the chat, I know you're there. I see you. I see you, and I believe in you. Right now, these players just demonstrating their absolute practice and refinement. This is a little far from the TC for a pro gamer, but we'll forgive it. He's still a little bit rusty. And Tom Bombadil with absolute meta locations for these for these hurdles. He's even keeping them in the back so they don't get killed too off too uh, too early. Keep all your vills on one on one uh, animal at a time, guys. You'll save you'll save like 20 food each. It's incredible. The decay in this game ridiculous lumber camp going for that one space away on the lumber camp i don't know how the math works out there but fair enough looks like this amazon tunnel has given us three boars each and plenty of deer and berries here's one two where's our third boar for our uh, northern player It's possible he's already taken it, and I'm just not paying attention. Or it's possible we just oh uh, oh he's hiding in the berries. He's hiding in the, in the bushes. You like those bushes, buddy? It's pretty tasty berries. Why is he? He's called a javelina. She 
in fact. I call him a he. I'm assuming. What's going on? Javelina? Anybody have some background info on that? But they're called boars. All right. Well, there you go. So we learned something new. These are already looking like a little bit of a defensive potential structure here from Yellow. We know he very, uh, very effectively walled off last game and just completely shut down the Light Cav raid early on. And uh, I really liked seeing just throwing two man-at-arms. Havelina? Okay, what language is that? English? Could be. <laughs> I really appreciated seeing him throw just two man-at-arms at the at the enemy just to throw things off. I don't I don't know if not really knew what to make of that, and it might have it, it might have confused the whole the whole strategy for him. So any any kind of early pressure you can do without costing yourself too much is valuable in games like this. Now moving up with the other now these guys I know are called turkeys. I know how to pronounce turkey. Since it's Thanksgiving and all, yesterday. Happy Boxing Day for the... Is it Boxing Day after Thanksgiving or Christmas? Don't tell me. I don't want to know if I'm wrong. Scouting for these two players. Uh, Blue, just going around the map. As we heard uh, in the pregame chat. Yellow, uh, Tom Bombadil doesn't really think he's ever played this map before. Amazon Tunnel. It's definitely a bit of a niche map. It's come into the uh, popularity very recently, I, I would say. So he's definitely going to need to do a little bit more scouting so that he can get, a, get an idea of what's going on here. Blue, I think just confident that he knows exactly what's going on. He knows there's a big hole here, big tunnel. That's why it's called Amazon Tunnel. All five relics in the middle as well. We haven't actually seen this come into play yet in this tournament, but especially on a map like Amazon Tunnel, if you can get the advantage, wall off here against your enemy, maybe, like we saw the Alchemist try to do, but maybe was too aggressive on earlier in the tournament, collecting all the relics is a win condition in this game, and you just end up with a countdown timer like a wonder. Since we have a standard victory on it, not just conquest, I wanted to throw a little bit of a wrench in the works, you know, keep things interesting. I wonder if one day we will see a relic attempt. I don't know. But for now, just going with that clean boar micro. You can see it's, uh, this is the decay rate, by the way. He's not collecting from this boar, but it's just, uh, it's just dropping down. What is that, like three per second or something? It's, it's quite fast. Yellow, I think, knows the TCs right there. Just going around, giving a little bit of a look. And, uh, I mean, I guess I... There we go. Blue, a little bit less active with the scouting in general. Um, but, you know, he's clicked over here. He's microwing the eco. I mean, he really picked the perfect spot. He's able to just move two pixels and see the entire enemy base, so. Good map knowledge there from uh, from our blue player. Not obviously picked this map, so he knows. He's got a strategy in mind. Getting that barracks up as well while going Feudal Age makes me think, well, you need it for any military production, so doesn't make me think anything. Let me check a little something while we are waiting on this action. Huns are going to be a great rush sieve. They've got, well, what I have in my notes here is they're like cavalry goths. So that's cool. I think with their Tarkon. Yeah, that's that's really the comparison there. They're Tarkon. They're Tarkon. Correct me on that one too. Uh, is just cav with uh, defensive buildings uh, bonuses due to their high pierce armor. Basically, just huskarls on horses, as far as I can tell. Maybe we'll see some. We'll get to we'll get to compare and contrast. Yellow going for that forward wall. We'll see. We'll see just how effective this is. I think has blue scouted. No, doesn't know this is coming down. And that's going to be 
pretty costly. If it makes it all the way up, if this really becomes an entrenched position, yellow is going to have access, like I mentioned, to all those relics. No, they're not. They're not still in the Discord. It's fine. I, I had. I had to make sure. I just had to make sure. All right. As these players are about to exhaust all their herdables, all their boars. See what they move into. We've got some berries and some farms coming up for blue, and straight onto the deer for yellow. Deer and H2 often feel a little bit lackluster, especially. I mean, there's only three here, but if you can, uh, you know, if you can efficiently get that get that mill down or push them in, a lot of times. Okay, that's unfortunate for yellow to see that. A lot of times, the pro players, uh, you know, the. Uh, Anybody playing ranked will try to, uh, you know, push those deer into the town center. Has anybody played the Turks yet? Oh, good question. Good question. I can check that very quickly. Select all players on this Omega spreadsheet. Sort by Civ. Turks. Or too much action comes in. Yes, Tom Bombadil, in fact, played the Perks against Hadrian in uh, game 7.2 and won with them. Second round victory there. This wall is down, and again, <laughs> Blue, just blunted with the scout rush, is just unable to make any progress here. I think the ideal thing you need to do is just knock down these Palisades, just start hitting them. Yeah, there we go. They're not going to have too much health, they're just a bit of a delaying tactic. We'll see what yellow does with these abilities. Probably going to, yeah, just drop a house. Good play. He's going to bring that other scout forward. Take that, Hadrian. No, I think he just went Janissaries and Bombard Cannons, and that was enough. That was enough in that game. It's on the YouTube. Just going to say that. Just going to say that right now. Any Turks fans? Okay, Blue just going to move over to a different piece of wall. Again, with the, you know, just doing the right thing. Now yellow is just going to have to keep plugging these leaks. He's got a half-constructed house. Tom Bombadil going Castle Age as well. I think he's just trying to delay while he can get that Castle Age up. I don't know what the Britain Castle Age play is, but they are pretty well-rounded Civ. They've got solid, you know, options across the board. Here's another house. Scout going down for yellow. And just going to have to keep moving around and blocking this off. Janissaries. What did I say? Janissaries is the word, though. You're right. Oh, boy. Okay, well, this is some uh, quick walling, I guess. You could call it that. As far as eco goes, pretty even right now. Blue having to micro those bills in front. with a f It's going to leave him with a few more... Idols and now moving forward with five villagers. What is he gonna do with this? Yeah, I think he finished that game a little bit faster than Bombard Towers were gonna come in. I think oh alright. So yellow aging up, there's the castle drop right on that hill. You'll often get a hill like this in Amazon Tunnel, like kind of in the middle with some resources around it. Great spot for a castle. I'm sure they intended that when they designed the map, but you'll love to see it. I think just that castle age itself, causing Blue to fall back um, and try to focus on his own economy, now about to click it himself. Yep, there it is. I, uh, I don't know if I like that move. I mean, just knocking down the palisades wasn't really working, so I guess going up to the next stage is probably the best thing you can do here. But if your enemy hits castle before you, or in any age, you're gonna know that they're behind in some other, you know, in, in, a, in some other way. They've been putting all their resources into aging up and focusing on the economy in order to be able to do that. So you know they have no military units, as uh, right now Tom Bombadil with zero military units to nuts five. Really effective walls and defense here from yellow, just keeping this aggression at bay. Gotta love those Janissaries that are not in this game. I just like, I just like them. Mining camp here, just taking that neutral resource. See what this castle is for, maybe just defense. I really want to see 
Also, what Tom Bombadil's play is, going for the third town center. I like that. Third to two, or to one, rather. Blue's going to become a little more active with the scout cav. Just keep hitting those walls, boys. It doesn't cost anything. It's better than just standing around doing nothing. The resource distribution uh, for yellow, I guess he's trying to transition to farms, which explains a little bit the lack of food villagers. I think he might have got caught off guard there. But, okay, and skirms for blue. He knows the Britons, those guys. Oh, and the castle is just in range. Okay, lost a little bit of a unit there. Lost, the, I think, a scout cavalry. He knows the Britons are going to be heavy into the archers, or at least they probably will be. They're, they're inclined to. Tom Bombadil, though, could throw anything at us. Still with no military buildings and not even a barracks, by the way. So I, he's just going full boom. He might be even focusing fast Imperial. I really would like to see even Rams from Nut at this point. I guess he doesn't know the state of the world behind these walls. And there's the 2TC drop for, for Blue as well a little bit later, so he's going to be actually in the lead with Villagers as Tom Bombadil may be focusing on getting those defenses up with uh, now double the idle TC time. Now that's inflated a little bit because three TCs means it's counting up three times as quickly if you have idle town centers, but still that is quite the difference and not might be able to, oh and it's back it's back to 36 36 okay that's that's again the difference of three town centers versus one still nothing coming out of this castle Tom Bombadil going full eco and there's the monastery this could be a relic play honestly if he gets the relic wind condition off I will be astounded I haven't mentioned this, I have not mentioned the Relic opportunity at all, unless he's stream sniping this game, which I I don't want to cast dispersions on that, I trust, I trust all the players here. And now buying food for gold sort of seems to indicate a lack of monks being produced there. But yeah, I haven't really spoken about the relics uh, opportunities there at all in, in past streams or anything, so... Maybe while setting up the lobby he realized, wait a minute. Standard victory, Amazon Tunnel. I'm seeing five relics in the middle here. We'll see if Blue can break through this with the Knights. Moving into Knights and Skirms. Good counters, uh... Good, good build to what you saw last game out of this out of this uh, player. As far as research is goes, um, I mean the heavy eco focus for yellow right now. Double bit axe, heavy plow, wheelbarrow. Blue with a little bit more of a defensive cav upgrade, and also pretty heavy on the eco. Both of these players just content to uh, sit back and chew through all this wood that they've been given on Amazon Tunnel. The whole map, the whole map is small trees. I mean, it's regular trees, but uh, you know, small tree mod. So, you know, just the meta things. Going on stone now. Actually, five on stone for blue too. Should have should have been keeping an eye on that. We'll see. It's probably going to be a castle here. I think, okay, here comes the monk for, for one relic. The three TCs from the Britons actually is very strong and you can get it out really early because they have that cheaper town center uh, civ bonus. That uh, does explain why those were up so quickly. I don't, honestly, I don't remember if he bought stone for this castle or if he was mining it for a long time. Uh, looks like no stone has been purchased, so must have been all collected. But first relic coming in. I think if it goes the way of the relic victory, Nut will have a good chance of pushing in and uh, taking that out. 
because Yellow still has produced no military units and only has a monastery for offensive purposes. Now getting Leather Archer armor. And all of the Archer upgrades coming through, actually. Okay. Vodkin Arrow, Padded Archer armor. So we are going to see a move into probably Longbows out of the castle. As he moves up to take that stone in the middle as well. But uh, Blue is well suited to counter that play. I think just thanks to the notoriety of the Britons, they have been played like, I don't know, something like 25% of all games in the tournament. And it's just, they're just a common sim in general in H2, so you know, they got those longbows. And thanks to the last game, where it was really the archer crossbow push that ended the game there. So, I like that composition. But, will not be able to Cause some pressure here or will he need to again I don't know if I like assume yellow is gonna collect all five of these but it's gonna take a long time he only has one monk he's not really rushing it which kind of makes me think he just sees the five relics here doesn't actually know it's a win condition and is just like okay I guess I'll wall this take all the resources mid and get all of the relics Those 12 range archers. Kappa. Kappa. Welcome in Koala Kush. Our favorite moderator has joined, has joined us here. Koala, we are going to be watching uh, one of your games, one of your sets later on here, but it's not live, so we have plenty of time. We want to get these games out of the way while our, while our players that aren't in the Pacific Coast time zone are, you know, awake and available. <laughs> oh man sorry koala <laughs> we've got some former contestant competitors in the chat uh here comes that monk with relic number two yeah those relics are coming in so slowly i don't think it's a rush for like a relic victory or anything we now have barracks for yellow i think that's in response to seeing those scout cap earlier doesn't see anything from Blue's side. Maybe a gate into some scouts or units going across would be a good play just to be able to counter. And also I really like this from Tom Bombadil. Focusing on something that most players, myself absolutely included, don't really think about. Elevation. Second castle coming up, also on the perfect hill for a castle. Incredible. Those castles are going to get attack bonuses to anything below. I don't. I mean, I don't think it like reads out anywhere. Maybe that's what this four is. Like it, that kind of looks like an indicator of like range, right? Or like uh, like elevation. It could be a plus four to to zero elevation units. I don't know. I don't want to like spread fake news. Castle coming up for blue, and a university. Blue is about to go Imperial, but he needs this, uh, one of these buildings to finish. Okay, and now we have the Huns in Imperial Age. What are they all about? I'm tabbing, and I'm reading. Very bad defense. Late game only good with Paladins, Trebs, Cav Archers. Okay, okay, Wiki, sure. Copy that. Oh, they can get the Marauder's Tech, which allows you to create Tarkon, Tarkons in the stable as well. But I don't know if we're going to see Tarkons out in this game. Well, actually, Tarkons would be incredible. And maybe we will get some Imperial Age uh, production there. Just into the Britons in general. It's kind of a hard counter to the, to the Longbows, so... I think this game is going to revolve around Siege, though, as we have castles, we have house walls. But as it stands, 30 to 1, even if Yellow gets attacked right now and starts producing, he's going to be hard-pressed to be able to, um, in a third castle. This guy's really just stalling. Three relics now in, and getting that fourth one. He's going to be hard-pressed to you know, make enough units to deal with the, the blue army. And also no stone walls, just castles. 
and also on 88 stone. Okay, two, 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 two stone miners, not quite enough to stonewall up the entire middle on Amazon Tunnel. Notoriously very wide, just tunnel vision zone. Okay, now the Spears might be a read. Uh, maybe Tom Bombadil knows about the Tarkons. Maybe he just knows about the Cav. We'll see. This is a solid amount of skirmishers, though, from blue. However, again, no archers and, again, no military units. So, still, Tom Bombadil is a bit of a mystery. Now stacking up 4,000 gold. He just wants to get that tech, I guess, and then start spamming at that point. Both players hitting Imperial at almost exactly the same time. Again, very evenly matched when it comes to just straight eco games. Very impressive. Very impressive. Okay, there's more on stone here, actually, than I was talking about. I just, uh, you know, I just didn't see it. Okay, longbow's now coming out. And, uh, just a lot of longbows and trebs in queue. So he's going to try to make a longbow treb push, I guess. Possibly these are insurance. I'm really interested uh, that there has been no action from the mangonels. I'm also wondering... Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, buddy. Sure. Let me just take a step back here. Chat, what do you think is going on with these mangonels up here? Are they are they here to, to take out that alligator? No. The village already did it on their own. They already have loom. What are those mangoes doing up there? Military production ramping up for yellow. Pikemen are coming out. Okay. We're doing preemptive pikemen. That's... A good choice here. Trebuchet from the single castle from blue. Villager count right now is also extremely even. Five in yellow's favor. I think that's just from the early second and third town centers that he dropped. But the three castles are going to be able to create uh, a lot of... Okay, alright. I think he was maybe considering, you know, doing the chop all the way around the entire map. He may still do it, but... The trebs are out for yellow now, and he's about to have like four trebs, which is pretty much the amount that you need. Okay, you now going for only three and attacking with two. And we're going to have counter trebs here as well. Uh, obviously the Britons have Warwolf, which is their Imperial, uh, one of their, I think, university upgrades. Gives trebuchets much more AoE blast damage. Ouch. Ouch. Is it worth it? I don't know. Not quite with the range on those skirmishers. Longbow's coming up now as well. This castle's going down, and blue only has two trebuchets here. This is starting to look like it's in yellow's favor. Also, does this guy have all five relics? Yes. And we haven't seen a countdown. I don't know if that's actually on or if it even works. Never seen it. The relic victory. Never seen it. So I could just be wrong there. Another fake news moment. This looks like gridlock. Yeah, I mean, there's a second castle for blues, much more of a production castle. It's gonna be out of range of the trebs until yellow decides to push in. I think yellow can absolutely take this fight. Okay, well, now here comes here comes all the halbs. <laughs> uh, hmm. I wanna see more production from blue. I don't know. Okay, here it is, all right. And, and as I speak it, here it is. Six stables, three barracks, four barracks, you know. He's going for the 1-1-1, one, 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 or the 6-4-2. Okay, this this unit, this mass here is looking very scary for, uh, for our blue player. I don't know how he's going to deal with that. As yellow also wins that treb war for the time being. Still content not to push out. He's just sitting back and controlling the game right now. Yellow honestly looking a little dominant right now. And we've got Hussars for blue. Good move against the Archers. I don't think he knows about all of these Halbs. I think while he sees two barracks, I'm a little bit worried for blue right now. <laughs> Is there a wonder countdown? Yeah, I think wonder is enabled, but you gotta, you gotta, it's gonna take a real risky player to, to build a wonder in 1v1s. 
Unless, you know, their lobby settings are messed up, which is all, always possible, but... Here comes another Treb on Treb action moment. I like the three castles from yellow, and I guess blue is almost going to be able to afford another castle if he so chooses. Yeah, so what I want to see with these is just a run straight into the eco and ignoring the army, because obviously... How many halbs are there here? 41 halberdiers are just going to eat your entire 50... Oh my gosh, 50 hussar army. This is going to be a slaughter if the engagement happens, as... Uh, as yellow would want it to. <laughs> I wonder who would do that. Uh-oh. So this is absolutely yellow's fight right now. The numbers may be on blue's side. Um, but, okay. We've got some microed hussars coming in, but it's not enough. And they're inside of castle range. This is looking a little bit... A little bit uh, spooky for yellow, actually. Gonna clean up all those helps, but at great cost. Uh, <laughs> blue, blue with 300 food, really tapping out, tap tapping that that dry. 20 hussars in queue, just committed to the hussars. We're gonna need to deal with these uh, with these castles, though. We <laughs> really busted a nut. All right, bomber bear. Why did I read that out? It wouldn't have shown up otherwise. Uh, Skirms? I think with stream elements, actually, I can, like, choose users to not show up in the chat on screen. Maybe I'll, <laughs> maybe I'll do that. <laughs> maybe I'll do that for some of our sus chatters. This is now turning into just a trash war. Kind of. Just streaming units in. But, uh, 44 longbows remain unanswered. Okay, this is great for blue. The longbows are moving in, but also it's just a death ball right now. We're gonna need those mangoes. Oh, never mind, they're dead. There's a few idle, uh, what are these, stone miners, gold miners down here? That's a shame. But we are just continuing to keep that Hussar production going for blue. Five relics in the bank for yellow means, uh, I don't even know that. Let's look at that gold trickle right now. How many villagers are on that? Seven. Seven to 19, by the way. Okay, taking out the university key building to, to uh, destroy. And now it's looking like this is swinging heavily in yellow's favor. The lack of early pressure and the yeah, very strong defense really is just working for him. And we have a single villager castle drop now. And I think it's going to go up. Town center goes down. Three, okay, now five English trebuchets. Breton trebuchets really are going to do work. Here come the paladins, but again, you're just making paladins into a huge amount of halberdiers, so I think he's going to try to snipe some uh, key units, maybe go for the trebs, but the raiding is in, a few at least, and there's nowhere for these guys to hide. They're going to have to fall back to the TC. That is a lot of paladins coming in for blue. He might be able to clean this up. With only one worker on this castle, it is going up excruciatingly slowly. Do mine some more gold in age 2. I mean, there are multiple tiles, so like it's hard to tell. And also, they can spawn with like two to five to seven tiles each. So, okay, these paladins are gonna do work here, but I don't think there's enough of them, especially with all the halberd here just walking around poking their poking them in the back. I feel like gold would have been mined out a while ago in H two, yeah, or in H four. Um, the difference here, I think, is that there's only, especially on Amazon Tunnel, one neutral gold of three tiles. So both players have this massive base with, like, I guess we can't really check now, but, like, four gold tiles each. So, for comparison there. Yellow might be able to, or blue, it might be able to clean some of this up. No, nope, the helps take it out. And there's the TC and... There goes Nut, Tom Bombadil, with the uh, Imperial Rush Boom strategy, takes game two, and that takes him to the grand final. Kind of a dark horse in this uh, tournament, actually. Very impressive. And great map reading from him, not having played Amazon Tunnel. I, I don't know if we're going to see them again in the chat. We don't need them to be back because there's no more games to be played.
but yeah, I think the Trebs just melted all of the uh, key buildings from blue and he just couldn't keep up with the absolute monster production back here. Didn't quite make enough production buildings early enough. And honestly, that, let me see it. 99 Hussar, 106 Halberdier. You never want to see that. You hate to see, ooh, oof, ouch. That is the, maybe the hardest counter in the game. So rough, but not committed to the strat. Couldn't break through the economy of the enemy, but it happens. Well played from both. Clean booms that time. Very Amazon tunnel looking game. We report scores. Tom Bombadil with the 2-0 moves on to the grand final, which you can't even see in this overlay. 